that bill, my brother, we slain heavy metals. Went to the jeweler, I got me a watch and that bitch got a bezel. When I get up, I'ma get me a tussle. Just hit the gas like pressing the pedal. I'm Cardia, bitch, and I'm popping like kettle. All of these little niggas really be scouting me. I got the saw, yeah, I got the rest. Welcome back to another Mad Monday. I am your host, Groovy Tyler. Thank you again for tuning in. Man, today on the Sledder Network, we got something very special for you guys. This is a gun review on the Sky CPX1 9mm. Stay tuned, we're gonna dive right into this thing. Okay, guys, so this gun was actually sent in by my sister in law, Chase. Uh, you actually saw her shoot this in the Family Range Day video. Uh, so I figured I would do an up close and personal review to the gun because I haven't seen many of these guns around. This is produced by Sky. It's a company down in Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, so I don't know much about them, but I figured I'll go ahead and review the gun. And we're, this gun will be included in our pistol range day review, which is coming up very soon. So be on the lookout for that because I haven't personally shot this gun at all. It's a nice little pocket rocket 9mm uh, that you can easily conceal easily for a female companion. As you can see, it comes in purple. I've seen many more colors like red, black, gray. I've actually seen some designs on the frame as well that you can get done from Sky Industries down in uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. So let's take a closer look at the gun and I'll go over some dimensions as well and stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the Sky CPX-1. All right, so it's a nice little concealed pistol, as you can see. Let's go ahead and make sure she's clear. Now, this is a hammer fire polymer frame, double action. It's a semi-automatic pistol. It's chambered in nine millimeter parabellum. Now, the CPX-1 is a compact firearm that feeds from this staggered column magazine. Um, the pistol is manufactured by Sky Industries, as I stated earlier, down in Daytona Beach, Florida. The original designer for this wonderful pistol was Joe Roebuck. He's the, the manufacturer with Sky Industries. This pistol was produced back in 2005. And they also have newer variants out. This is the first variant, but they do have newer variants out, the CPX2 and the CPX3. Now the length on this pistol from tip of the barrel to end of the slide would be 5.7 inches. The barrel itself, which is chrome line, that would be 3.1 inches. With the height from the top of the slide to the bottom of the mag, the, the bottom of the mag well would be four inches. As I stated earlier, it does shoot the nine millimeter cartridge. The magazine does hold 10 rounds. It does come with two additional magazines, but one has just a flush finish. And this one, as you see that I have here, has like an extra little grip module on the end so that when you have the, when you do reload the pistol, you have an excellent grip purchase because the pistol itself does not have a lot of room for a grip. You see your pinky hands off here. So for an extra purchase on the pistol, for a better grip, they included that on one of the magazines, which I really like. As you can see, my pinky is no longer hanging off the gun and I have better contact to get a better angle and a better grip so that I can fire this pistol. You can see the sights there, they're rise irons. It's the three dot system. Very nice, very nice by Sky. You can also see here, it does have the safety selector for fire on the back or safe. So on fire, by it being hammer fire, you can get a lot of dry firing in. You can see the hammer actuating in the back. On safe, nothing. So that's a nice touch. One thing that I did wish they would add would be the numbers here so that you can see 
how many rounds the magazine holds. Even though if you own the gun, you probably know it holds 10, but just for people who just who are just picking it up, you know what I'm saying, or shooting it, the numbers here would have been nice so that you can know how many rounds the magazine actually holds. But that's the only thing that I see so far about it that I wish that I could add to it. But overall, pretty nice design. And it also seemed to function very well, even though I didn't shoot it. It functioned very well when we were shooting it on the Family Range Day video. You guys go and check that out. And again, we are going to be shooting this in the uh, Pistol Range Day video coming up very soon. Now let's go ahead and check out that trigger, guys. Show you that clear again. That's your slide release. All right, let's take her off safe. All right, so you got some pressure. You got a lot of play in there, guys. And it's a it's a pressure play, if you get what I'm saying. Like you gotta apply some pressure, because at first I thought this was the wall, and I was like, okay, great. But then you keep squeezing, and that's the wall there. So you got a lot of give in that trigger. So I would say that's at least four or five pounds up to the actual wall itself. Then I'm still applying. You got a clean break. That's around two more pounds of pressure. So overall, I would say six pounds. Your reset is extra long. Okay. So if you can gauge that, I would say that's around six to seven pound pull right there. Because you got a lot of play up into the wall break. It's a clean break, but the build up to the wall, I feel like could be improved. But overall, you got yourself a nice little concealed carry pistol with the Sky Industries CPX-1. Now as a size comparison, so that you guys can get a better gauge of how big this gun is we're gonna stack this up to my gigantic glock 35 and as you can see there's a pretty huge size difference so this would be way better for concealment this gun the glock 35 has around four inches on this so i mean it's it's very very lightweight not heavy at all And as you can see, that Glock 35 just makes this look like a baby. So down in the comments, guys, you guys tell me which one would you prefer. Glock 35 or the Sky Industries. Okay, so now that we got a better overall review of the Sky Industry CPX-1, please feel free to leave how you feel about this gun in the comments and also let me know whether or not you'll be picking this guy up or not for a concealed carry. This will run you around 150 to 250 at your local gun shop depending on which model and what color you get. So just be on the lookout for it. It's a very, very, very affordable concealed pistol. Perfect for a first time buy. And you guys just let me know how you feel about it and if you may be getting it in the future. Now, I just wanna thank you guys again for all the support we've been receiving over these last few months. It really helps out a lot. I'm really trying to grow the channel as best I can, get more content out for you guys. We are hitting the range soon. You guys really enjoyed that family range day video. So just be on the lookout for the new content. Until next week, guys. Peace. Shout out the global, he puts in infinity. I got the Glock, but you not just like Kennedy. Shout out my ex, and I'm talking about Kenny. She really a free when she be out the Henny. She rockin' Chanel, and it's really that double. G. You already know, bitch, I'm rockin' that double G. Hop in the coupe, and that Glock got to ride with me.